On view at Scandinavia House beginning in October 2010, the exhibition Nordic Models and Common Ground, Art and Design Unfolded, presented an in-depth look at contemporary Nordic design and art through a collection of 41 objects from 35 Nordic designers. The first in a series of events celebrating American Scandinavian Foundation's centennial year, the exhibition was organized by ASF and Norsk Form, the Foundation for Design and Architecture in Norway, and was curated by the internationally renowned architecture firm, Snohetta. The decades leading up to the exhibition had seen a flourishing of Nordic design projects that were not only focused on the social good, but demonstrating a high level of craftsmanship and functionality, as well as humor, cultural commentary, and a versatile application of new technologies. Works on view in the exhibition span the fields of architecture, product design, fine art, graphic design, fashion and photography, highlighting shared practices and ideas in the five Nordic countries, as well as their global impact. These works were presented within a site-specific installation by the Brooklyn-based Situ Studio, in which the objects, models, and photographs were displayed on freestanding plywood shapes within a single gallery lined with large-scale photographs. In keeping with the environmental sensitivity theme of the exhibition, this installation was produced without creating any physical waste. The projects in Nordic Models and Common Ground highlighted a number of themes, including many relating to the crossing of boundaries between individual and social identities, tradition and innovation, new materials and long-established forms, fine art and commercial culture. Designers in the exhibition included leading firms such as Denmark's Bjark Engels Group, BIG, and Swedish design studio Form Us With Love, as well as Norwegian architecture firm Jensen & Skodvin Architects. Other works by individual artists and designers explored innovations throughout different mediums, such as a violin designed by Iceland's Hans Johansson, which revealed the role of advanced digital technology in the fabrication of a traditional musical instrument. Several works demonstrated the innovative use of man-made materials, such as Danish designer Matthias Bengtsson's The Spun Chair, which used spun carbon fiber to create a furniture piece weighing just two pounds, designed with natural geometric shapes. Kernu, a pavilion designed by Finnish architecture firm JKMM, combined time-honored building techniques and new materials through a facade made of wood plastic composite, which was constructed with a shingle technique. Other works similarly highlighted the use of materials found in nature, such as a limited edition artwork titled Lava Flower by Iceland's studio ability founder Gudrun Lila Gunnlodsdottir, made from water cut volcanic lava. Norwegian designer Liv Blåebarf's necklace, Butterfly Disguise II, was built with reindeer horn as well as ebony, stained maple, and Wenge hardwood. Many of the artists and designers included brought a focus on physical and geological phenomena in the Nordic countries to their works. An emphasis on light was featured in works such as Norwegian designer Daniel Rybakin's Daylight Entrance and Atelier Oslo's Lantern House. A historic reliance on the sea and its bounty was evoked by the Uhi lights, surrealistic lamps made of codfish skins created by Icelandic designers Fanny Antonsdottir and Dag Gudmundsdottir. The exhibition was accompanied by a special two-day symposium titled Nordic Design Now, which was organized in conjunction with Nordic Models and Common Ground and the concurrent exhibition National Triennial 2010, Why Design Now at the Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum. Nordic Models and Common Ground exemplified ASF's ongoing commitment to exploring contemporary developments in Scandinavia's rich design tradition, a large part of what the organization celebrated in its centennial year. 
We were grateful to Norsk Forum and Snohetta for creating an informative, engaging exhibition that enabled us to celebrate ASF's long legacy of cultural exchange from a contemporary vantage point.